What's up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best audio and video quality out of your video conferencing or live streaming setup. But before we get into the video, allow me to do a quick plug. So as I mentioned just a moment ago, my name is Fran and here in the channel I do videos all about emerging technologies. I do reviews, opinion pieces, and sometimes we even have a little bit of fun. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. All right, so at the time of recording this video, there are a lot of crazy things happening all around the world. Pretty much everyone's trying to avoid each other, at least in person. And people all around the globe are turning towards video telecommunications for pretty much all previously thought socially normal activities. Teachers are teaching classes online, businesses are hosting webinars and web conferences, and artists are turning to live streaming as a new source of revenue. Now, it is my belief that when it comes to all of those scenarios that I just mentioned, the best way to capture and retain your audience is to have some high quality audio and video. And for that reason, in today's video, I'm gonna help you take your video conference to go from looking and sounding like this to looking and sounding like this. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do. All right, so the first and arguably the most important thing that we're gonna tackle in our setup upgrade is gonna be our audio. Now you don't need to be an expert in this kind of setup to know that the key to getting great audio in a video conference or live stream is gonna be to use an external microphone. Now there are primarily two different types of microphone connectors you'll find out in the market, USB and XLR. USB microphones are the simpler of the two. They allow you to interface your microphone directly with your computer. And once you have your microphone connected to your computer, it's as simple as going into your live streaming or video conferencing software and switching your microphone input over to the USB microphone. Now XLR microphones are a little bit more complicated. They require some sort of intermediary device or an XLR computer interface. Now these interfaces come in just as many variations as microphones out there, and they typically come in different connectors as well. And while there might be some minor nuances, the setup for an XLR microphone is fairly simplistic. You plug in the XLR microphone into the interface, the interface into your computer. And just like we did with the USB microphone, you go into your video conferencing or live streaming software and set your microphone input, this time over to the interface device. Just make sure to watch out for those levels. All right, so here we are testing out our first upgrade, which is our audio upgrade. Now, I know we still have a lot of work to do in the video department, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But as you guys can see, just by simply upgrading our microphone with this Shure SM7B here, we have a much more pleasant video conferencing experience. Now, I can only imagine if you had to sit through 30 minutes to an hour of a lecture or some sort of web conference using this audio, it is much more pleasing and bearable than the microphone that was directly inside of my MacBook Pro that you were listening to just a moment ago. All right, so now that we know how to get great audio, let's switch gears over to video. All right, so when it comes to capturing great visuals for your video conference or live stream, there are two different routes you can take. You can either go down the easy route and use a simple USB webcam, or you can go down the more complicated route and use a mirrorless or DSLR camera. In this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to use both. Okay, so let's start off with our easy mode upgrade, and that's gonna be our USB webcam. Now USB webcams are extremely straightforward. Of course, they plug in directly to the USB port in your computer. Now if you're using a desktop computer with a monitor that doesn't have a built-in webcam, it's as simple as opening up your web conferencing or live streaming software, and it should automatically detect that webcam and allow you to start using it. But if you are using a laptop or a desktop monitor that has a built-in webcam, then the setup is gonna be very similar to the way we set up our USB microphone. Just make sure you go into your corresponding software and select the external USB webcam as your primary video device. And just in case you're wondering why I'd recommend an external third-party webcam, even if you have a built-in webcam into your desktop monitor or laptop, allow me to demonstrate the difference in image quality between the webcam in my 16-inch MacBook Pro and this oldie but still good Logitech C922. All right guys, and we are once again back with another test, this time around to show you the difference between the image quality of the built-in webcam in my 16-inch MacBook Pro and the Logitech C922. And now we switch over to the Logitech C922. Now, as you guys can see, there is a major difference between the image quality. The main thing that'll probably stand out is the reduction in the amount of noise. And that's mainly due to the difference in sensor sizes between the webcam in the MacBook and the webcam in the Logitech. And now let's get into the slightly more complicated DSLR or mirrorless camera setup. All right, so for this setup, we're gonna need two things, an HDMI capture device and a camera with an HDMI output. Now the actual setup of these two devices is very similar to the way we hooked up our XLR microphone with the HDMI capture device being the intermediary between the camera and your computer. So this setup would require you to plug your camera into your capture device, your capture device into your computer, and then navigate over to your corresponding web conferencing or live streaming software and set your webcam preferences to the capture device. 
Now, of course, there are a number of nuances around the setup. I'll start off with the capture cards. Now, not all capture cards are created equal and not all of them will be detected by your computer as a usable webcam. Elgato, on the other hand, makes a device specifically for this purpose. It is called the Cam Link. I've actually done a review of it here on the channel. I'll leave it linked down in the video description below in case you guys wanna check it out. But this device is specifically made to turn any HDMI device into a webcam, and it's probably gonna be your best bet if you're looking for a setup like this. The camera that you choose can also add some other complications as you wanna make sure you choose a camera that has clean HDMI out. Now, if you're wondering what clean HDMI out means, it basically means you have a clean signal without any of the metering or any of the ISO and shutter speed and all that other information that you normally would see on the back of your camera. Now, as a bonus pro tip for any of you Canon users out there, Canon recently enabled a number of their mirrorless and mirrored cameras to be used directly with the computer via the USB port as a webcam. Now, I think this is absolutely excellent and it eliminates the need for an expensive HDMI capture device between your computer and your camera. Now, I have no idea how this works, if this is an application or a firmware update. That's because I'm not a Canon user myself, although I do plan on picking up one just for this particular purpose. Either way, I'll leave a link to the article that I read about this down in the video description below so you can do your own research. And once we put all of these elements together, we now have a super high quality video conference or live stream. Not bad, huh? I think it looks pretty good. All right guys, so now you have all the pieces to the puzzle and you yourself can go out there and put on your own very high quality live production. And with all that being said, that is going to wrap this video up. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And also while you guys are down there, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if it's your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you guys in my next one.